I love doing that. That is so much fun. Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I'm just doing a really random vlog because I love fields, and I love doing vlogs out in the fields because, like, I do not have a girlfriend right now, and fields make me so profoundly horny. I am so fucking serious. I would be had a girlfriend right now. I'd be fucking her on this field right now. But like, I actually never had a girl girlfriend my entire life, so. Like, I don't know, I'm just a really shy person. Like, part of the reason being shy is like, the first 14 years of my life, I grew up in the middle of a national forest, and all I did was roam the forest, roam the woods all by myself, without any clothes on. Like, I was a young nudist, basically. I loved doing that. Like, I would wander hundreds of acres of woods of national forest in Michigan, um, without, with just completely naked, without any clothes on. I would climb trees without any clothes on. I love doing that. And so I'm like really comfortable. Like I'm not going to take my clothes off right now. Like, <laughs> I would do that, but like I think I know better because I'm like 37 years old. So I'm not supposed to do that. But like, so yeah, so it's ironic that like I feel comfortable, um, being nude on public, but like, and also, I'm like, I'm a nudist, but I'm radical for sexual purity because I'm strongly against all forms of sex outside of marriage. In fact, that is why I look so much younger for my age, is because if you practice sexual purity, no forms of sex outside of marriage, God will bless your body so you look so much younger for your age. So that's why I'm, you know, I look young when I'm 37 years old. So, but like, yeah. <laughs> so bad right now when I rip my clothes off and just enjoy the woods and be hiking, but I can't do that. So, like, I'm such an earth cookie. And so that's one thing I did when I was younger, growing up in a national forest. Is, and also, like, uh, I would eat leaves and eat wild berries, and I'd eat lots of wild mush mushrooms. I was like Jungle Boy, basically, growing up. And no, my parents did, did not, they didn't care, they just let me free, because that's, it was back in the, Early 80s, you, you were allowed to do that without any parental supervision, just roam the woods by yourself. So, but I did love eating grass. Actually, this looks pretty good. Yeah, so I would like growing up. <laughs> I was jungle boy growing up, so I would just roam the woods naked up until I was 14 years old and eat leaves and grass. And we had a three acre, three acre garden. I would eat potatoes straight from the garden and, and corn on the cob straight from the garden it was so delicious. Like completely organic because like tomatoes and all, all the vegetables you get from gardens, there's no taste to vegetables you get from Walmart because that's how they grow, that's how big agriculture grows their food. Like organic vegetables have a real taste to it. Like I'm sure this is, this is not GMO grass so like I'm gonna eat. Yeah, I eat lots. I actually ate lots of grass when I was a kid. This is probably not as good. I heard it's pretty good. So, trying to be random. What am I gonna? I'm not trying to be funny there. I really do like grass being from fields. So I would get sick a lot when I was a kid. Very good. Anyway, so yeah, if I were out in the field here. Fuck, I need a girlfriend. Yeah. So, and this, this is my life right now. I'm, uh, I've worked in the social work field and in the in nursing field for several years. And I'm going back to school, um, getting a degree in peace studies, like war and peace, because I want to be a professional peacemaker. I've been to 18 countries. And I've been cleaning the Middle East four times. And uh, I want to, I, oh, I, because I have the resurrection of Jesus Christ living in me, I can end war. Globally, single-handedly, and permanently. I have that power because I have the resurrection power of Jesus Christ living within me, and I can end war. Oh, yesterday, I'm just going to ramble. Thinking of it, like, another reason why I've never had a girlfriend my entire life, like, School I'm at, I'm at these two college girls, and oh fuck, that was 
sorry. Just stung by a bee. Ouch. Sorry about that. I dropped the F-bomb a lot, so... Anyway, like, like, yeah, I was... Like, all these girls think I'm so much younger for my age, so it's, like, good. Practicing sexual purity, so I look younger for my age. These two girls, are like, I had a crush on the, the one redhead. She's in my class. In environmental geography. And I had a crush on her for three weeks, and, like, I saw her last night at a community dinner, and she was with her friend, and I was attracted to the both of them. I thought her friend liked me. She's looking at me like she liked me. So I was talking to both of them, and they started sharing their love story about how they met. I was like, fuck. That is the story of my life. I always have crushes on lesbians. I'm like, that's oh, okay. I'm okay with lesbians and stuff. And when they want to be lesbian, but like, that is the story of my life, as I get a crush on a lesbian. So yeah, and then today, I don't know what else story about my life. It was like I'm Eastern Orthodox Christian. I used to be an Evangelical Christian, but I was chrismated into the Orthodox Church. Uh, back in 2007. No, that's pretty good, actually. That's good. And so I believe in public prayer. Like when I went to the Middle East, I studied in Egypt and in Turkey. All the Muslims have public prayer. That's the benefit of being a Muslim, is that mosques are always open for prayer. 24, like 24-7. And like in the United States, you cannot just go into a church and pray when you want to pray. So I believe in public prayer. Because I don't care if like evangelicals saying, well, you got to go behind closed doors to pray or else you'll lose, re lose your reward in heaven. Like, I don't care if I'll lose my reward in heaven. I just... I'm not praying to get a reward. It's because I love Jesus. So, yeah, so some guy said, uh, was... He knew nothing about Eastern Orthodoxy. I told him I'm a convert to Eastern Orthodoxy. He had never heard... Fuck, what the hell is that? <laughs> Sorry. I'm paranoid now because of the fucking bee. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm not going to do this on video. So he had never heard of the Orthodox Church before. And I told him, well, Sorry about that. <laughs> Am I seriously going to still post this video? No one's watching my fucking vlogs anyway. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna post this. Oh, sorry. That's really disgusting. <laughs> if I had a girlfriend right now, she'd be like slapping me on my back, in addition to slapping my ass while I was like on top of her, and she'd be like, I'm choking on grass while I'm fucking her, and she'd be here right now to. Help me out, but it's just like, I don't have a fucking girlfriend. So, yeah, so this guy, I've never heard of the Orthodox Church before, so I said, he asked, well, what do you believe? And I said, well, well, there you go. When we say believe, we don't mean just the, the head. We mean when you believe, it's believing something is part of the heart and the soul and the mind the body. Believing is holistic. We're not dogmatic like Catholics and Protestants. That was really disgusting. I'm sorry that you had to watch that. I did. I ate lots of grass when I was a kid. I ate lots of leaves and trees. Maybe it's related to the fact that I haven't been walking around nude in forests while I'm hiking a long time. If I would do that, I would be not choking on grass. I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> that was really bad. Disgusting. Okay, I love you so much, and you are awesome, and Jesus loves you very much, and have a good night. Bye.